wonder how many times the Lord's Prayer has been prayed today. Your kingdom come, your will be done. This month, this year, this century, this millennium. Over the 2,000 years since Jesus gave the Lord's Prayer, it must seem like the kingdom's never coming, surely. There is a tendency in human history to decline, for the good things of God to decay, for revivals to falter and fail, and for a reversion in moral and spiritual climates within a nation. I think we can see that very clearly. In Psalm 80, the psalmist just keeps going and he keeps repeating and repeating over and again. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead J Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned above the cherubim. There's no doubt about the sovereignty of God. Stir up your might and come and save us. And here we go for the first time in verse 3. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine on us that we may be saved. In verse 4, he reverts to the focus on our guilt. How long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You fed them with bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You've made us an object of contention for our neighbours. Verse 7, restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine on us that we may be saved. He remembers the history. God, you brought us out of Egypt. You drove out the nations. You planted us like a vine. You cleared the ground for it. But it didn't work well. The boar from the forest ravages it and all that move in the field feed upon it. After Joshua had given them the land, they fell into moral and spiritual decline under the period of the judges. The kings weren't much better, more evil than good. And invaders come, exile comes. Verse 14, turn again, O Lord of hosts. Look down from heaven and see, have regard for this vine. Somehow in it all, the people of God just keep pleading away, praying away, champing away. Asking God, come again, come again, come again, restore, restore, let your face shine. They burned it with fire. They've cut it down. The church, the people of Israel, suffering, all kinds of rejection, hostility, persecution, abandonment. Verse 19, restore us, O God of hosts, let your face shine that we may be saved. The wonderful thing is that here we are still praying. And all these little prayers adding up together with the sovereignty of God who sits enthroned above the cherubim until one day. Come Lord Jesus, come. That's the prayer of the church. Maranatha, until he come. And when he does, all those prayers will be answered in an instant. The dead will be raised. We will be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. This mortal will be clothed with immortality. And the face of God will shine on us forever. I can't wait for that day when we will get our full and final answer to all the prayers of the ages when the purposes of God are fulfilled.